Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep back at it again and today we are here with the newest update with the new structure deck, with the new blue eye structure deck that we got today so um, I managed to uh, pull out a really nice and original version of the blue eyes I actually uh, got three copies of the structure so um, you're gonna see triple copies of the king of D so uh, I hope you enjoy this build it's actually pretty fun and it's kind of different from the other ones that you can find on the internet so um, just a quick reminder guys if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right into the deck list so I'm here with uh, Sero Kaiba from DSOD World and what does this mean that the skill could be or the um, or the alternative evolution or the ultimate dragons but surprise I prefer ultimate dragons and you know why cuz actually having that copy of alternative is more than enough and ultimate dragons is actually so good because um, it can actually transform bricky hands in, into really good hands that can go into a blue eyes, stream burst dragon, actually broken, uh, a really broken card. So, uh, to me, it's the best skill, and you will see also in the replays. So, this is the deck list. You can see 21 cards. Um, of course, you can just remove one of these or one of these, but uh, I wanted to take 20, 21 cards just because I like the how the deck uh, uh, shows up uh, you know with triple copies and double copies right here so um, let's start from the uh, the beginning we have of course the only one copy we have of blue eyes alternative white dragon one copy is more than enough because keep in mind guys this little guy uh, maybe I have to say big guy is searchable is searchable with the melody awakening dragon uh, and yes we play only one but this little guy right here instead can actually search for can look for this so you basically have five chances of getting your alternative white dragon that's insane and the same thing is for chaos dragon levianir and you know why cause uh, it's actually a dragon that has more than than, than 3000 attack and less than 2500 attack the, the perfect requirement for the Melody of Awakening Dragon, so that's perfect. Um, then we have triple stones that I didn't own before buying the structure, so that's why to me the structure were so good because they give me two ultra rares that I didn't even own a copy of. I'm talking about the stone and the cards of consonants, so uh, to me was really a big deal. Um, and of course, uh, I can understand all the people that already had the cards of consonants and the white stone of ancients that are disappointed, as well as I was when I talked to, when I talked about the um, the noble knight structure deck so uh, that's the point the whole point uh, to me it's not fair but uh, I'm not here to talk about that so moving on we have a couple of blue eyes actually with the new as you can see the new rarity uh, as well as the uh, the blue eyes alternative white dragon ones and only two uh, blue eyes white dragon are enough because you can add them with the uh, melody awakening dragon or you can special summon them from th from the deck with the white stone or you can add them with the white stone of legend when it's sent to the grave so really good um, that's actually also an original way to play around the fact that I do not have a single copy of sage so this deck is perfect if you do not have sage and if you do not want to um, uh, uh, spend your gems into expensive traps so no traps at all as you can see right here this is a turbo build and we have the never ending beautiful kiteroid to deal with the um, with the annoying turn one so in turn one you can do anything other than set your white stone or your uh, um, uh, white stone of ancient of ledge or of legend uh, but with kite road you actually uh, you can be safe and also playing cards like dark war dealings helps you have a uh, fuel to for your dra cast dragon Livianir and also to draw into the cards you need maybe for defense if it is 
easy your first turn or maybe to just uh, um, send the white stone of ancient to the grave and in the meanwhile I uh, draw a card from your deck so to me it's really, really, really perfect. Last but not least, guys, we have the extra deck. Of course, the Overlord of Heliopolis is mandatory. Two to me um, are mandatory. Maybe maybe one can be enough, but two is better. Then only one Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon because we have the skill that actually adds another one to the extra deck. Uh, then we have, of course, one Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon mandatory. Uh, one Azure Eyes. Uh, then I added one level four just in case I have two King of the on the field. But of course, if you have the Vermilion Dragon mech, add that. That is definitely better, but I do not own a single copy of that, so I cannot use it. So I used actually a Samsara, Dragon of Rebirth. Uh, it's not important, of course, put in a Vermilion if you have it. So guys, this was the deck list, and now we can jump right into the replays. First you, my boy, so you will see actually uh, a bunch of replays where I can uh, simply LCK my opponent in one turn, and then... Um, also, also a couple of when the duel is more, you know, um, to be thinking on and kind of exciting. So, this is the first time that you can see I had no tuner in my hand. I had to just hand the tuner with nothing, but that was good because I had my kite root so I can be safe. It's a mirror match and actually if I remember well, this was one of the longest duel I had with this deck. So... Uh, in the end phase, white stone, double blue eyes, that's kinda tough to deal with. I draw another kite with so no cards of consonance, uh, no tuna, but thanks to King of D, that cards of consonance is not a dead card, because we can discard it to add the melody of the awakening dragon. So there you go, discarding the other kite so we are more than safe because we have a double kite in the graveyard, then, as you can see, alternative white dragon is coming to the field after that I had it from the melody of the awakening dragon and now it's my third turn so this means I can use the skill to add a polymerization from outside my deck that's insane and so I can go directly into a twin burst dragon is here twin burst dragon so you can attack twice boom Boom, I just thought I had the win, so, but it was so lucky that he had a Deep Eyes White Dragon, otherwise he would have lost, because double attack of, um, of uh, Burst Dragon and then uh, 3000 plus 1200 is lethal. But it was lucky right here, not a problem, I had the control of the, of the duel, because as you can see, my Twin Burst Dragon is more than enough, um, even because he has a couple of blue eyes, so he cannot use his ultimate dragon skill. Uh, he top decked into a Cosma Brain, actually. Really lucky even here, but that's not a problem. So he can keep summoning monsters, but unless he can go into another Twin Burst Dragon, he cannot do anything. He cannot overcome my Twin Burst Dragon, so I'm chilling. Attacking two times per battle phase, that's insane. And also banishing with the second effect the monster that he cannot destroy by battle. In really, really insane, guys. So, uh, there you go, the combo with the Master and the Sage to keep uh, to bring out another uh, Dragon Spirit of White. Actually, I don't care. It's just, um, uh, you know, putting... Uh, putting away is last, but a last that will come anyway. Another blue eyes white dragon, another dragon spirit of white, but he cannot do anything. Cards of Kansas here, guys. I'm just looking for the cast dragon Levianir to end the duel. So um, I went with the double duck war dealings, but I was unlucky because uh, I didn't draw my uh, cast dragon Levianir to end the duel uh, quickly. But in the next turn, he has handed his resources, so he has nothing more. This means I'm the winner, there you go. Second duel, my boy, Master of Destiny, so this is a Desperado. Kinda get hand as long as we have a Count of Consonants as a Tuna monster, so he has his, his uh, part of a grid, triple set, and his turn. Another Tuna, so first Count of Consonants, and... There you go, the other effect, adding a blue eyes, then a Melody of Awakening Dragon, 
to add the other two because with the second effect, with the other effect of the second stone, we have seven cards in our hand. So first summon, blue eyes, alternative, alternative white dragon, and then the actually the the stone. Why my boys? Cause I actually wanted to be wanted to have something to defend my dragons, because, uh, you know guys, with the second effect of the blue eyes speedy dragon, I can go into an Ezrise, and my Ezrise says that my dragon type monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by cut effect for that turn. So that's the move, that's the reason of the move. Um, white stone effect to add back to my hand the blue eyes of the white dragon. Uh, then a dark world dealings to have the dark monster in the grave so that I can use my Levianir's effect. Levianir destroying a couple of cards, he decided to play with head judging, but he was unlucky, or maybe I, I was lucky. Then negating the effect from the grave, so just to uh, not let him have any chance. Then, guys, keep in mind, I could have also summoned my blue eyes at the white dragon, and that's all. Here we go, my boys. Third duel. Actually, pretty bad hand, so with no spell and trap, I cannot use the effect of King of D. But lucky me, he has also. It's a slow deck, so nothing special. Then he has Palladium Oracle Mahad, part of the Guardians. Oh my worthy. Uh, but I'm chilling. There you go. Unluckily, here, guys, I do not play the Spirit of White Dragon. You can use it. I don't think it's, uh, you know. Is required actually because we have a lot of cards to um, destroy. So keep an eye on this guy on this card, the Dragon Revival Rhapsody. I actually replaced it with the third card of Consonance. I used to play it uh, with two cards of Consonance, but then I decided that it never was useful to me. So uh, it was better to play a third card of Consonance. Uh, adding the Melody Awakening Dragon, then Synchro Shokan, Blue Eye Spirit Dragon, and then. Melody Awakening Dragon to add the alternative and boom I decide to go first with Levianir because see the spice right here Levianir destroying the power of the Guardians and my own King of D because I needed a slot for my alternative White Dragon Ultimate Dragon effect uh, destroying the, or the, the Mahad and negating the effect of Mahad from the grave with my uh, uh, Spirit Synchro Dragon and then Exis Shokan for, with the two monsters that cannot attack so they're useless right now. Exis Shokan, Overlord is coming, Overlord's effect, pop the set card and then going for little all at once my boys. There you go. Here we go my boys, balance deck. So what what is this? Let's see. My first turn as you can see I I did not I did not break because I could have summoned my alternative white dragon um, But I had my kite droid so I can um, Save my resources for the second turn for my second turn and maybe go for lethal So it's a noble knight deck full combo Medra, a Nekip spell then Bard's effect to uh, show me three cards three noble knight cards I choose once the rest is sent to the grave and then swinging in my, my card right said no I didn't want to take any damage so king of T but I not need it because I already have my melody of awakening dragon so first salmon he uses the uh, until noble numbers uh, noble armors are needed once again uh, actually he has a couple so there you go a couple of cards but they're actually useless he cannot do anything at the moment add the Merlin I don't care so that's that is it so now you can see how the ultimate dragon skill it's so perfect combined with the cast dragon levian ear because now with the skill I had the polymerization and with the polymerization I can send my bo both my blue eyes dry dragon to the graveyard so that I have fuel to summon my levian ear and that's how you build a board like this Boom! I don't even need to use the effect because my Twin Burst Dragon can attack twice and that's how you do it my boys. There you go. Last but not least we have a set card so this is a Cyber Dragon deck, cards of consonants so 
Perfect, another card of consonants. And we are going even better with the third card of consonants. This is one of the be most beautiful hands that I got playing this deck. So at this, at this full power, as you can see. Uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, Duckworth Dealings looking for that. Uh, Levianir that I didn't get, so I'm chilling. I decided to defend myself with the blue eyes spirit dragon, but I can actually summon again thanks to the stones my alternative white dragon and go for little. He has nothing in his hand, my boys. That's it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed all the explanation. This deck is really, really good, guys, because. That dark wood dealings can actually help you deal with the bricky hands and while you discard you are actually uh, both um, allowing the stone to let you special summon a blue eyes from the deck or uh, adding fuel to the grave for your Levianir. So that's why this deck was so good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed all the, all the explanations. Feel free to ask me wherever you want in the comment section down below. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and as always, see you in the next one.